Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. This is Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. Welcome to Ace and Friends. Please allow me to be the first to say, what up, brother? Special teams, special players, special plays. Riggins got it. God. <laughs> yes, he got it. I hate it. that dude. Do what? I hate that dude. <laughs> what? I hate it. It's Every time I see it, I I have to, I block whatever page you're sending it. Rob, show it to me. So it's it's a sketch, a guy on YouTube, yeah, I'm, I'm on I don't TikTok. Like, I don't like sketch or jinxy. Wait, hang on a second. What is there not to love about sketch? I don't like. I don't know. I can't pinpoint it, but I don't like him. I'm so I hate this. Just I every hate time, him. every time I have to turn turn the the video off, and I just block whoever's trying to share it to me. I went down the sketch rabbit hole yesterday just for a while. I, it's one of those people I had seen, but I didn't I didn't put it all together. And I got home and Amanda walked in and she did the, you know, held her finger out. And I was like, what, like E.T.? Are we doing this? She goes, it's sketch. And I went, oh, I didn't, hang on a second. I didn't put two and two together that that's what you were doing. I didn't, I didn't it's follow huge. along with yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's Ugh. massive. He's, a, he's huge on TikTok. I think he's putting on like a character. And that's why I think that, because I also don't like Larry the Cable Guy. I don't think he's a character. I think he is. I don't. I've, I've seen him talking to people outside of a, of a camera being on him. Yeah, it sounds a lot. He's he's normal. Just shattering the glass. I hate it. Well, oh. if now if Sketch turns out to be acting, then I think that's wrong. I'm not, you know. <clears throat> but I hope he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> special teams, special players, special <laughs> plays. Yeah, I did see there was a cool TikTok yesterday where um, uh, uh, the Tennessee Titans. Maybe it was a couple of days ago. The whoever does the Tennessee Titans social media stuff greeted all the players as they were coming into the facility by holding up the one finger and go, "What up, brother?" brother? And to see how they responded, and about half of them they responded, get, yeah, yeah. You know, "Special team, special player, special play." You know, <laughs> what is it? T- Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. and they do the bird hands or whatever. So, That's if cool. you don't know, if you don't know who uh, Stitch is, it's 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 worth checking out. But that was a fun way to get started today, Rob. Hating on like one of the most popular people on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. right? That's a bar. <gasps> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Okay, yesterday I told you about life with a hot wife. Well, there's an update. And I, I don't really have not yet figured out how to share this update exactly with you in detail. Uh, call it, it's, uh, it's, it's not right. <laughs> uh, that is coming up next. Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. We we take a little bit of your information. uh, We find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. So, I make no bones about it. My wife is hot. Um, I don't mean that in a braggadocious way, but I guess I kind of do. But it's, I think it's kind of a common fact. I think most people find her to be very attractive. As one member of the radio family named Martha, who DM'd me yesterday to tell me, I, I get it. I know I quote unquote way outkicked my coverage on that i know that i'm aware of that but thanks for pointing it out thanks martha so but my wife amanda is a trainer and a personal trainer and um when you do that they post a lot of pictures like whether it's workout photos or pictures in a bikini you know that's um i did not realize that's a whole thing that turns out to be very inspiring for a lot of younger women is like she follows a ton of 
women who are really hot that post bikini photos because their trainers are workout people. And that's, you know, the way it works. But that also means you open yourself up to comments from people. Now, yesterday I mentioned there was a guy that had sent her a bunch of comments about, I really think it's real hot when young women like yourself, like an older man, she's 31, I'm 55. And it was turning kind of creepy and she didn't like, she never responded to the guy, which is kind of weird. So she sent me this and I don't really know. I'm just going to share this with Riggins. Uh, so this comes from uh, an account that has no followers and no one's following it. Well, uh, at burner one, account at 1 15 AM. Yeah. All right. Riggins, uh, I'm going to hand this to you and I don't really know how to sum up what that says. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you. Yeah. I don't think you can read that. Yeah, let's put it this way. It's uh, he, whoever this person is, created an account to specifically send my wife a message that he really, really enjoyed looking at her photos. Yeah, in like the crudest way, <laughs> that no woman on earth is going to be like, "Oh my gosh, you Romeo." Yeah, you modern day TikTok Romeo. I said, "What did you do?" She was. I reported it immediately, but she goes, "What were they going to do?" It's no. It's Clearly, it's a made-up account. I think a lot of guys think that kind of language is like women are just going to love. I, and it's like the most vulgar th way to phrase, like, I think you're attractive. I <laughs> I am flabbergasted by that. It's just like, what? It, that guys have that thought. What process. did you think was going to be the reaction? Like, yeah. oh, my God, thank you so much. It's so weird. I, well, I'll explain. I'll kind of give you more. I'll explain more about this in a second. How just how unbelievably weird this is. Hang on. Ace and friends. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends. So, uh, Life with a Hot Wife is going to what I'm going to start calling these little segments from time to time. Uh, because, so my wife got this message from a made up account. No follow, doesn't follow anyone, no followers. And it, it uh, essentially was someone telling her that they really, really, really enjoyed looking at her photos at 1.15 in the morning. And the rings made a point. Like I don't, they don't expect it, anything back at it. They can't, they can't because no one in their right mind would think that random woman who's never met you or doesn't know anything about you would respond to that and go, I'm very flattered. Thank you so much. See, I feel like they do think that. Well, here, here the, it, it's weird for a couple of reasons. This is how uh, the, you know, quote unquote life of the hot wife is kind of weird. Now, I want to do something to like protect her from that. Yet, I also realize that's completely made up. You have no way of knowing who that person actually is. So, and she's reported it. That's really all you can do. So you just got to live with that. Yeah. Uh, and, and the other thing is these types of messages, I mentioned a second ago, I am flabbergasted. Nearly every woman I have ever encountered has gotten something like that via social media. And it, you know, by no means am I a prude by any stretch of the imagination. I am probably far closer to being a pervert than a prude. However, 
when you don't know someone, thank you. When you don't know someone, sending a message like that is just, you're, what are you expecting? Yeah. You cannot expect someone to respond to that positively. Yeah. Has any guy ever randomly sent a woman a picture of himself without her asking for it or something, or just, and then are said the, these vile, crude things without her, and then gotten a positive response like, hey, thanks. I, I just don't think that has ever yeah. happened. Like, I was telling some friends of ours, or maybe about a year or so ago, we were talking about this kind of stuff, and I said, I will send very crude messages to my wife, but she expects that. That's part of the package. A little perv. <laughs> That's part of who I am. Some would say it's part of my charm. But Some. but she know, <laughs> but she knows me. Yeah. She's not, you know, offended by that because she knows that's 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 part of the bait that kind of reeled her in. Oh yeah. That's what she says. <laughs> and that's how she describes it. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, that's you know what? That's why I love him right there. That's right. But again, I know her, so it's okay. Yeah. Right? Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. The good news today is such a heartwarming story. I have fallen in love with this story about a teacher and something he promised in 1978 that turned out awesome this week. Hang on. Ace and Friends. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. There's a lot of news out there, but Ace and Friends just want to give you the good news. I am so in love with this story today because I think it is um, wholesome and good in so many different ways. So the eclipse happened Monday and there's a teacher, a retired teacher in Rochester, New York, who made the news. His name is Patrick Moriarty. Starting in 1978, now there was an eclipse in 1979, but starting in 1978, he told his students, there's another eclipse in 2024. You're all too young now, but I'll throw a big party in 2024 for the eclipse and you're all invited. He did this year after year after year. He was a science teacher. Monday, he made good on that promise. Over a hundred former students from the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s showed up at his house for his party. Hmm. He had the entire thing catered. He had glasses for everyone. And he said it ended up not being about the eclipse at all. It ended up being about teaching. Quote, it's about the sharing. It's about the impact of teachers. It's about so much more, end quote. I just thought it was the nicest, kindest. It's the kind of thing that you would think somebody says and nobody remembers and nobody thinks anything about it. And I don't know how he managed to put this all together. I would assume by now he used social media and promote, hey, if you're one of my yeah. former students, you know the promise that I made and it's happening this year or it's happening in a few days. It's happening in a month. Let me know if you're going to be able to make it. That was 40... Year 15, 15? 15, no, 46 50? years ago. Yeah. How old? He, he's got to be an old guy, right? If he's he has a teacher in 78. Yeah, he's retired. It doesn't say, it never said how old he was. That's amazing. That's a yeah, cool story. Yeah, you were teaching in 1978. That's, it's been a while. Yeah, like an older guy. 
That's cool, though. I'd have thought that was a really awesome story. He held up his end of the front. But the fact that over 100 students showed yeah. up after all these years from different decades, from various decades, is, is just really, really cool. That is cool awesome. of them, cool of him, mm -hmm. a really nice thing all the way around. And it does show that great teachers can make an impact in people's lives. It's great. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. I've come to a realization. I've known this for a while that my life was pretty different than most people's. It's kind of weird. But I've come to a realization of just how weird it is. Based upon music and sharing music with my children. And it kind of, I think, puts in perspective, like, oh, that's, you're a little out of the ordinary. Coming up next, hang on. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting? And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Ace and Friends. Music has always been a huge part of my life, and especially a huge part of my kids' lives, and my, what do you call it, my, uh, my bond with my kids. Now, my daughter, uh, Peyton, who passed away three and a half years ago, shouldn't say passed away, she died, whatever. Um, we bonded immediately over music. My son, Cade, not as much. So he's 21. And now, you know, 20 years later, I have a nine month old. So I started thinking the other day um, and did, some, did a little math sitting around yesterday, just how weird this whole experience will be for all of us. Um, when Peyton was about 10, I turned her on to the Beatles. And we were just going through, I was like, look, there's some things you need to know now that you're about to, she just started expressing an interest in music. I was like, you need to know the Beatles. And one of the great moments of my life that I, little things as a parent that I will never forget is, she and I went to a store one day, she was looking at clothes, we were out goofing off or whatever, and she was trying to put an outfit together. And I said, look, take this Beatles t-shirt this denim jacket and this scarf over here and put them together. She was like, that's ridiculous. And then I said, just please try it for me. And she tried it on and went, oh, this, oh yeah, I like this. And I was like, boom, and I, I never <laughs> let her forget it. But anyway, I turned her on to the Beatles and she fell in love with the Beatles music. So I started thinking yesterday, hang on, Dax is nine months old. So that would have been say 2009, Peyton was born in 1999. So in 2009, she was 10 and I turned her on to the Beatles who, you know, were from the 60s. Yeah. To do the, the years. if you took the years, like say 40 some odd years, and shifted them for Dax, yeah. in 10 years, when Dax is 10 years old, I'll be 65, or well, I'll be 66 by the time he's 10. Right. Damn. You know what songs I'd be telling him about? Songs from the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to go back yeah, to the same number, yeah, late eighties, like, early. You 90s. need to know about Chumbawamba. Sure. <laughs> smash. You mouth. you need to know Smash Mouth. Yeah. You're gonna have to know some Edwin McCain. Yeah. Oof. Um. Uh. Edwin McCain, I love. Uh. Um. The uh, the Big Bad Voodoo Daddy or whatever that yeah. band was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of those no sweet doubt. Bands. No doubt. Sure. And then yeah. of course the boy bands and NSYNC and Britney and all that. Sure. You know. So okay. yeah. If Peyton had the Beatles, Dax is going to have, you know, Hanson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Hanson. Nothing wrong we with it. Hanson. Just, it just shows you how weird different. my life is. Yeah. The extremes of one kid to the other. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a lot to take in in one it moment. Is. When you sit yes, right it is. <laughs> Ace and Friends. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is 
natural, and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now, and consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Ace and Friends. As we grow older, there are moments in time where you realize it's what's hip has passed me by to a certain extent. And I think in those moments, you become cooler by accepting it and learning to work around it. I agree. You know, you can't fight it because times change. There is a TikTok that Riggins found that shows how childhood insults have changed through the years. And now these are the types of things, a lot of times childhood insults will stick with you forever. Yeah. But I think this is absolutely hilarious. My son said he was at school. Somebody said, that's why you got on ankle socks and sweatpants. <laughs> that was the third person that said something to him in three days. <laughs> I say, man, what's wrong with ankle socks? He said, dad, I don't know. <laughs> I called my youngest son downstairs. Because I know I done washed some ankle socks. I know I have. So I say, man, you wear ankle socks? He say, he say, I ain't had ankle socks on since I was a little kid. I was like, <laughs> you was a little kid. Yeah, I learned this. A little kid. I learned this from my son, from Kate, who's 21. It's a few years ago. I was like, look, why don't you get some socks while we're here or whatever? And we were at, the, at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. And I said, don't you want something that's not quite as hot, like ankle socks? He goes, no, Dad, nobody wants ankle socks. Nobody does. None of the kids do. I was like, what? You know, nobody wants ankle socks? He goes, mm, unless you're a girl. Like, <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But a lot of times, not even girls want ankle socks anymore. Yeah. That's crazy. But, the, yeah, the mistake you yeah. would make is to get older and try to embrace whatever younger people are doing. Like, if you're walking around with tall socks yeah, as an adult. If, if suddenly I'm walking around with, you know, uh, 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 calf socks. Yeah. I look silly, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You and gotta, I, I feel silly. You're right, though. you got to just embrace it and accept that, yeah, you're going to get ragged on and you're going to get roasted <laughs> by people that are younger than you. Yeah. It's just going to happen. And the other, it, 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 you just got to kind of ride that wave a little bit. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing that goes, hey, just go no-show socks. Yeah. And, and that, that way, because no shows are acceptable, our, our calf socks are acceptable, but ankle socks are apparently definitely out today. That's crazy. Very immature. Yeah. And you, <laughs> yeah. That's what the kids said. <laughs> so but, immature. Yeah. And how about that as, a, as an insult? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why you wear ankle socks. <gasps> and everybody's like, hi, you got, ankle, you got an ankle sock. Yeah. Oh, your mama bought you ankle socks? Yeah, your mama got ankle socks. <laughs> what? I would argue that our childhood, or at least mine, insults were far harsher oh. than, than saying you have ankle socks yeah, on. They were real bad. I mean, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> they've like, got it easy now if that's yeah, the worst you insult look back, you get. Back on some of the things, and you're like, damn, no, we should not have been. Like, those are terrible things we said. Yeah. Like, there was this guy that we, well, I'm not going to say what we talked about his mom. Which, yeah, I mean, it's always something about the mom. <laughs> it was real bad. It yeah. was like, uh. Ace and Friends. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense it makes life much easier go to homewithrichard.com to start the process a lot of options with richard Ducato. don't miss this opportunity homewithrichard.com today every company is a technology company but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy that's why you have compucom to guide you a proven leader in managed it services they'll do more than just get you ready for today they'll get you ready for tomorrow go to compucom.com for details this is Ace and Friends. This fits so perfectly with what we were just talking about. Uh, the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day today, quite often is not anything earth-shattering, news-breaking, like Eclipse or you know, whatever may be happening in the world. It's just interesting because it gives you a jumping-off point for conversations, such as this story that's in BuzzFeed today of random signs you're an old person now. Ooh. 
Uh, someone asked people to name random signs that you're officially old. For example, you know, last year it came out that if you dance with your hands in the air at all anymore, no matter your age, you're officially an old person. <laughs> all right, so some of these are pretty good. Now, so I'm much older. I'm 55. Riggins is 36. Rob is 38. Riggins is about to be 37 yeah. in June. So uh, some of the examples. Uh, you still print your boarding pass just in case. That is an old person thing. I get furious if I have to print a boarding pass. That's ridiculous. I hate it. Yeah. But sometimes I have to make a change at the airport, and then you have to print the boarding pass. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, I can't stand it. Um, you snap your fingers when you're trying to remember something. I like, I was told the guy, um, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Think. All right, random signs you're an old person now. Um, you can't stand or sit without making some sort of noise. For sure. <laughs> Is that you, Rob? Oh, yeah. yeah I took notice of this in my life a while back <sighs> and have made a, made a conscious effort to not make any sound when I stand up to get off the couch. Because your wife will hear you or yeah. something? Yeah, she was like, my God, just, just you always have to make a sound. I guess I was getting up, and it, whether it's like a, my knee hurts or my back or something, it's like, oh, just to stand up. Like you're doing it for fun? Yeah. She's like, you always have it. to do that. I don't even think about it. <laughs> uh, you use your speakerphone for most of your calls. No, I don't do that. Earpiece, I got I got, I got from a couple Okay. Calls. Uh, you judge parents if their kid isn't wearing a jacket. Like, it's March. That kid should really have a jacket on. Oh. every night oh god you've recently stood outside a store waiting for it to open <laughs> that's a good one. you know exactly where the heating pad is that's very true uh you leave the plastic on things to keep them new uh you've told the server please give my compliments to the chef oh god <laughs> <laughs> and if you drive by a house and say that's a nice house yeah, I do that. Apparently that means that you're getting older. I talk to, I tell the dog that. I'm like, look at that house. That is a nice house. Meredith brings up this one house every time we drive, drive by it. That's my dream house. I was like, well, okay, okay, thanks. Cool. That is, that's an but, old person thing. But at right? least you talk to a human, Rob. Riggins talks that's to true. his dog. Uh, and I, <laughs> and like, I'll criticize the house, too. I'm like, they didn't. That's not the right color for Ooh, that house. Those yeah. shutters are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ricketts and his dog just right around looking at the houses. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. How badly can your feelings be hurt when you're at your parents' house and they're not there? The things you see, oh, it can be uh, deadly to your self-esteem. We have proof coming up next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to bradhambrothers.com. Ace and Friends. Riggins, you go to your parents' house a lot alone, right? You're there by yourself a lot of times, right? Sometimes. Not yeah, a yeah. lot, but, Not a lot, but, but yeah. regularly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You ever found anything, you know, in their house? Not that you snoop, but you just look around and go like, what uh, What the hell is that? Like, mm. uh, no, not that I can say. Well, there is a uh, TikTok that's out that is, I think, pretty hilarious because a woman is the oldest in the family she is at her 
parent's house, at her mom's house. What is it? Listen to this, then I'll tell you what she actually sees. Just at my mom's house, you know, letting her dog out, just looking around at stuff. It's very interesting, the stuff you find when you're just looking at stuff at your mom's. On a desk, there are four books piled up. The top book, here's the title. When our kids grow up to disappoint us. <laughs> <laughs> What a book. Love that. When our kids grow up to disappoint us. <laughs> Ouch. And she just stumbles upon that. She's, there it is. <laughs> She's like, you know, I come over here, let the dog out. I just look up, see all a, a stack of books on the desk and just, oh, let me check them out. And you look, I wonder what mom's reading. Oh. And the book on the top, when our kids grow up to disappoint us. God, keep that out of the public, you know. Keep that in your nightstand or have, something. Have you ever seen anything at your mom's house, Rob, that made you be like, what, what is going on around here these not, days? Not that I can think, not that I can think of now. Yeah. I can remember just going like before my mom really got into, uh, got into dementia. That's really not a good way to phrase that. Got into dementia. She didn't get into dementia. <laughs> like, like it's a club. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like one day she got interested in photography and then she mm -hmm. got quit that when she got into dementia. Um, yeah, I, things never really changed at her house. Things were, you know, everything had a place. And the books were the books. And if she was reading a book, there was that was the only other book that was out, you know, that yeah. she, she was reading. When she finished it, she would put it away and get another book out, that kind of thing. Uh, so there wasn't anything like that that was ever out. Now, once my sister moved in to my mom's house, it was like, what, like, what the hell is going on around here? What's, <laughs> what is this? What is that? I mean, she moved in to help take care of her. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, you'd open the door. And on the TV, there's a, you know, what is the, what is the, the shooting game that became so popular? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. There's Call of Duty. And, you know, my sister's ye yelling at the TV as I'm coming through the garage into the house. You're like, God, have at that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is new. <laughs> you walk in the living room, there's my mom sitting in her chair. Just give you the look like, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> But again, that was after she got into dementia. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me yeah, about that yeah, refi. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. Ace and friends. What makes you really mad for no reason? This was posted on our Facebook page today. Uh, I thought this was a pretty funny idea that Riggins had. Things that make you disproportionately mad. Uh, mine is the seatbelt. Uh, when, when you go to put a seatbelt on in the car. And it snatches it where for whatever reason it grabs and snatches it out of your hand. It, it drives me crazy. Let me give you another one real quick too that I thought of in my car, and this makes me nuts. I don't even like this car that I have. Uh, anyway, um, when you go to listen to something, and it says you have to click, you know, on the thing you got to click audio, and then it goes to a screen that says has one option on it, and you have to click something that says source. Then it goes to like Bluetooth or plug-in phone, AM, FM radio, whatever. Why does it go to a screen that says source? Because the only thing I can do is click the source button and then it takes me to the sources. Why doesn't it just go to the to the thing? Yeah. To with the, with the sources. Yeah. 
It's one option. There is not a single time that I, you know, I, like I'll plug my phone in so it'll charge and I can listen to it. And I hit the thing and it goes to source. And not once do I not cuss at that. There is no reason for that screen yeah. to be up there. Like every time. So stupid. But a guy sent us one that I thought was great. He said, things that make you dispro disproportionately angry. When you have a double sink in your bathroom and your wife won't use her sink. What is that? Why would she not? Because two sinks means two people. The rule is you have one and I have one. Yeah. And Amanda, I was telling her this a minute ago, earlier today, and she was, and she said, uh, yeah, sometimes I use use your sink because that's where the soap is. I said, I know in two points. Number one, I don't like it. <laughs> and number two, if you need the soap, take the soap over to your sink. Or get two soaps. Or get two soaps. That's easy. We've lived we've lived in this house three years. I have not once, not one time have I even run water in her sink. No. Yeah, why would that's the whole point. Of two sinks. Yeah. It's like sleeping on the same side of the bed. It's like, there, no, there's a big bed for a reason. You got to pick pick a side and stick to it. I would be crazy if every time I walked in the bathroom, she had stuff on my side of the sink where she had been using it. What are we doing here? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> get two soaps. It's about a dollar. Well, you can get another I soap. I feel better now, though, because I thought she thought I was a little extreme in my thought process. But I feel better now that someone has validated the fact that I'm okay. Yeah, I don't even know why you would want to do that. I don't either. That is bizarre. Very bizarre. Okay, but I'm okay then. I feel, yeah. I, I feel fine though. Yeah. Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at sweet dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. KD Rob, fair to say in your life that uh, the, the, the ear cleansing machine is one of your favorite things? Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's good. That you and Meredith love that. Well, you, uh, Meredith especially loves this thing. Yeah. Um, well, the revolt has started against the uh, ear cleansing machines. Um, check this guy out on TikTok. You know, you're not supposed to use Q-tips to clean your inner ear quiet, coward. I'm not going to buy your scam ear cleaner with a camera in it. I don't want to know what's in this cavity. I want to push it to the back and stay true to myself. Short-term pleasure, which usually leads to longer-term medical issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I totally agree with that. I don't want to see what's going on. No. It's gross. Does it make you feel better about it, Rob? Like, because you know you're, uh, you can see that you're getting wax out of your ear or something? Uh, it just makes me feel like uh, I know it's clean in there. Yeah. Like, uh, before, you're kind of like guessing if you got everything with a Q-tip, you know? Honestly, before, I was not guessing. I always felt pretty good about it. I uh, still do. Like, you know what? I feel like these, this is pretty clean now. I'm going to do it until it comes out clean. Right. It's like putting a camera on your toilet paper. It's like, I don't need to see, like, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm pretty much going to have, I'm going to have a pretty good idea when I've done the work. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a GoPro up. My how, <laughs> how often does Meredith use that thing, Rob, the ear cleaner? Uh, I don't have a good number for you, um, but at least once a week. But it's not helping her right now. She has one that's so far into her ear. She can't get it out with that. What do you mean she has one? What? Like, like it's, it's. Like a big a big chunk blocking her ear drum. She has to go to the doctor now because it's it's too it's too far gone. Any chance the machine has caused that? Like the little thing has pushed it back in there or something? No, because uh, she just bought this new machine because, like I told you before, she broke the other one. Yeah. Uh, and this was the brand new one, and she put it in. She goes, "Oh, I guess I got to go to the doctor." 
Holy cow. Have you bought one of those flushing, ear flushing things that they use? Uh, no, she, but that's what they do with the doctor. So she probably yeah. can save some money and just buy it's one. It's like of a those. water flosser for your ear. Yeah. yeah. And they make those things like like the, the ear camera scooper thing, but they make some with tweezers at the end so you could get in there and tweeze it potentially and pull it out. Holy cow. <laughs> so does she have an appointment already made? Uh, no. Oh, she just keeps saying, I need to. Go to the doctor for this. Yeah. But she hasn't made the move to. There's no way I could I could go more than an hour without making that doctor's appointment. That would have been the first thing I did. I've got to get this taken care of yeah. immediately. That is wild. There's a big chunk in there. Just shove down blocking her ear canal. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. Well. It sounds like it's gross. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so, the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options. And we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. This is Ace and Friends. Let's hit some stupid news headlines today. Not all of these are actually stupid. Some of this stuff could be considered pretty interesting, including what McDonald's is trying in the Netherlands that may be coming here soon that could change the game for all of us. But let's start with this. Um, a poll asked people if they use their phone while using a urinal. 30% of men say they have used their phone while at a urinal. Um, yeah. They said it's a little surprising since the urinals are in public places. I thought it would have been 100%. Yeah. That seems way low. It would be extremely rare for me. I'm sure I've had to do it at some point. I do it all the time. Yeah. Um, McDonald's is debuting the first ever scented billboards. This is it could be a genius idea, or it could be nothing more than a social media ploy. Yeah. Uh, here's how it works. It's only in the Netherlands. It is a bit of a stunt, but the billboards don't show any ads. They're just blank, red, or yellow signs. But what they do have are these big pipes on them. The billboards are behind, are located in very close proximity to a McDonald's. Oh, that's funny. And they pump the smell yeah. of the fries through the billboard. That's funny. So it's just part of like their ventilation. They're just they, like, it's, they tie into the ventilation system funny. and run the line to the billboard that's and it cool. just blows out through there. Um, and again, it's only in the Netherlands right now. Um, when they asked passersby what they noticed, people said French fries. Oh, it smells like fries. Without, <gasps> yeah. Without Ugh. telling them what it was like, hey, that's a McDonald's billboard. What do you smell when you go by? It was just like when you drive through, what do you smell? What do you notice smell wise? Yeah. And, they, and then the vast majority of people said it smells like fries. McDonald's fries. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Again, it's unclear if they're doing this for real or if it's just the social media clicks or if it's something that might be rolled out everywhere. But I, it does seem... Like it's a good idea. Yeah. It's such an iconic smell too, the smell of McDonald's. Yeah. Whether you just get the food or you go inside, you know that smell. Yeah. I'm I, I still think I stand by the fact that I think it is a really uh really good idea. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, yeah, a little stupid news. Coming up on Ace and Friend. Ace and Friend. How do you know if somebody has a daughter? You can tell by the way he speaks. To a young lady. And there's a cop that's gone viral for something he's done that I, I find to be hilarious. Coming up next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. 
You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. When you have children, you have shared experiences. But when you get even more specific, the shared experiences become more detailed and grow. For example, if you're a mom to a son, all moms have certain experiences. Uh, All parents with sons have certain experiences, but moms have ones that are more particular. They're different from dads. When you have a daughter and you're a man, you you have experiences with your daughter that are different from those of your wife. There's a police officer who is talking to a young lady he has pulled over and he is giving her a breathalyzer test, or at least attempting to. And he's gone viral because everybody says the same thing. This guy definitely has a daughter. Blow out, exhale, okay? You missed the whole tube. I'm keep trying. Quit yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. you This is yelling at you. I'm not yelling. See, you see the difference? (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. I feel that guy with every fiber of my being right yeah there. that's yeah. so sound like a dad talking to his exactly daughter exactly like a dad you're yelling at me i'm not yelling at you this is yelling at you i'm not yelling at you you know if i was yelling at you yeah <laughs> stop yelling at me. <laughs> his response is so perfect to that yeah you uh, he, know he's lived that moment yeah. several times before sometimes phrased as i'll show you what yelling is yeah yeah <laughs> That is so good, though. Yeah. So good. I like that cop. Yeah. I'm not yelling at you. This is yelling at you. I'm not yelling at you. <laughs> it took me by surprise a little bit, to be honest yeah. with you. And the way he snaps it right back down is how you really know he's had that experience. This is yelling at you. I'm yeah. not yelling at you. And I bet she got right in line after that. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. I am Morgan Wallen. I, Ace of Ace and Friends, the modern day Mr. Rogers. Am Morgan Wallen. Details next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. This is Ace and Friends. I am Morgan Wallen. Let us kind of set the scene for the week for Morgan Wallen. And we discussed this a little bit earlier in the week that Sunday night, Morgan Wallen, 30 years old, apparently, and, you know, while doing some partying with some friends, threw a chair, a 20-pound chair from the top of Chiefs in Nashville, and thank God didn't hit anybody. And he was arrested. Now... A video has emerged from 2019 that someone posted on the internet. Why they waited until now, I don't know. Or maybe it was there and nobody knew about it and it just became public knowledge in a big way. Of Morgan Wallen challenging a guy to a headbutting contest while in a bar, the bar is called Losers. (laughs) Uh, Morgan Wallen's in a sleeveless t-shirt 
uh, pushing his head into another guy's head before the whole thing gets broken up by a bouncer. And the caption reads, quote, throwback to 2019 when Morgan Wallen was challenging my friends to headbutting contests on the patio at Losers, end quote. Good Lord. A headbutting contest? Yeah. He is so dumb. He is he is dumb, which means I am dumb Oh, because I am Morgan Wallen. I forgot that's where this was going. Sorry. I... I told y'all the other day, I have done, when I was in college specifically, more than any other time in my life, um, yeah, threw a couch over the balcony, jumped off a balcony, you know, all that kind of stuff. Food all over my, you get drunk party and just start throwing stuff against the walls in your apartment, just being dumb. But I remember a night, it was actually, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. I remember an afternoon when I was with a couple of buddies at this bar behind my apartment that we hung out in all the time. And we got, I got hammered playing Papa shot, just hanging out with like 10 people in this bar. And we started headbutting each other. Wow. And, they got that, and the owner came over and was like, hey, y'all get out of here and go home and get something to eat and come back Something's later. Yeah. yeah, We knew the guy. We were there, you know, so often we got to know him. Um, it looks cool. I've always thought it looks cool. Yeah. Like if you can really hurt somebody with a headbutt. You know when it, when you're when you're drunk and you headbutt when it really hurts is later, like the next day, the next morning. You wake up and it's like what and what How has happened to my I got bruises on my forehead? What is going on? Yeah. Now you know what doesn't happen when you're headbutting people. You're not getting any chicks. You don't meet any girls. No, I mean. <laughs> No and I chicks. mean, not one. No. They don't even want you to come around them. No. No checks. None at all. <laughs> Ace and Friends. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. Think back to when you were in elementary school. Because if it was any time before 2010, especially before 2000, your experience was so different than it is today. It's hard to even fathom. Like, you know, I was in elementary school a long time ago. We got paddled. You get in trouble on the bus, the principal gave you three licks. Got in trouble in class. Uh, we had a teacher that would, to get a class. You stood up against the cinder block wall, raised your arms. You got three licks. Good Lord. I had a teacher in the fourth grade who, if you weren't paying attention, Ms. Newton, she'd throw an eraser and hit you inside of the head. My it didn't hurt. It's just so strange. It's, it's strange, but it got your attention. You realize, oh, hey, you better pay attention because she's throwing erasers today. Watch out. But there's a girl who's gone viral on TikTok with a story of what happened in her elementary school. Now, this was 2004, right? Have you ever not realized that something about your childhood was a little weird until you're talking about it with somebody else and they question it and you're like, oh, I guess that was kind of odd. Like, I was talking to my boyfriend a couple nights ago and I was telling him about, like, I don't know, my elementary school experience and I said, yeah, in first grade, if you got student of the month, the principal would take you on a ride on his motorcycle. And he said, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, you'd go on a ride on his motorcycle. And he was like, that doesn't sound right. I said, no, I swear. I swear. Your parents had to sign off on it. And you'd hold on to his belt loops and he would take you to his house. No, I'm just kidding. He would like take you to go get ice cream. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> huh. But again, but what? notice she pointed out the parents signed off on it. Yeah. Like, hey, 
Riggins, you are student of the month. Take this slip home. Tell your parents, I'm going to ride you on my motorcycle to go get ice cream as, as your, your gift, your prize for winning. And you're going to hold on to my belt loops. And your parents went, <laughs> that's awesome. That's Signed so, off on it. So cool. Yeah. yeah. Hell, Isn't I don't got to get my ice cream this time. That's, that's yeah. a win-win. Then he put a, he yeah. put a, he put a little a little a little baby helmet on him yeah. and they hung onto his belt loops, and you rode his motorcycle to get ice cream. A first grade. <laughs> that was your your <laughs> prize for being student of the month. That is th- great. Do you think it's weirder that the parents were cool with letting them get on a motorcycle or to go with the the principal? Which which part is the? I think the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I it's think weird the, they were going with the principal. I, yeah, I, I felt the but same. But again, way. I'm of a different. I'm of a totally different generation. If yeah. I, you know, our principals were fine, upstanding men as as far as we knew. Sure. You know, I, I don't pal. know. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't think along those lines, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that More crazy. Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. Ace and Friends. Okay, Tag D. Rob, what is your favorite thing from today's edition of Ace and Friends? Uh, um, I think it would be the, the last story you just did with the, the <laughs> going with the principal. It's still so it's so weird. When were you in elementary school, Rob? Uh, nineteen ninety, I think, is when I started. Maybe ninety one. Okay, so so throughout the nineties, for the most part, the early part of the nineties. Would your parents have freaked out if you'd been student of the month and your and your reward was going to get ice cream with the principal on his motorcycle? I, th- I think so. I really okay. I don't think my mom, my dad might have been okay with it because he loved motorcycles, but <laughs> I don't think my mom would have liked that very much. Yeah. Um, I assume anyway. And Riggins, you were in elementary school about the same time. That would you your parents have been okay with that? Yeah, they would have asked, "Why is the nun on a motorcycle right. first? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but they wouldn't have blinked an eye, probably. Yeah. They probably not. Yeah, if the nun had said, hey, tell you what, let's jump in my car. You get to get out of school during lunch today. I'm going to take you. We're going to go. I'm going to take you to get ice cream. Yeah, I don't think they would have. Like, today, people would be like, absolutely not. But when, if, if, when I was in elementary school, I said, hey, Mr. Cespiva, that was our principal, um, I was student of the month, so he's going to take me to get uh, ice cream and I get to get out of school a little bit early today. Well, that's great. Good for you. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. We're proud of you. Keep, yeah. keep it up, buddy. It's amazing. Keep it make, going. Make sure you hold on to the belt loops. Okay. <laughs> That's so weird. Regan's favorite thing from today's Ace and Friends. You know, I don't often pick a good news story, but I think that story about the professor that invited all of his students from the 70s during that last eclipse to come back in 2024 to have an eclipse party, I think is so charming and wonderful because you yeah. don't hear enough great stories about good teachers. He started telling us, if you missed it, he started telling us classes in 1978 that he would throw an eclipse party during the eclipse of 2024 and hundreds, over a, I'm not saying so, over a hundred of his former students actually showed up. He had the whole thing catered. He had glasses for everybody. And as he pointed out, it wasn't really about the eclipse. It was about, yeah. you know, the connection and the fact that he had made this connection with these kids and that they still, you know, through different years, the 80s, the 90s, whenever they were in school, he managed to make enough of a connection with them that they came back and, and wanted to be a part of this. And that's really, really cool. Nerds. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Rob. Thanks. Ace and Friends. 